All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here in our home away from home, getting ready to do a video on Elon Musk and his response to big tech's censorship. Before we do that, though, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, that thing right there, and hit the bell for subscribing. Uh, I want to talk about something real quickly before we talk about Elon Musk, because big tech... <laughs> we know what they're trying to do, but specifically, I want to talk to you about the video I did yesterday about GoDaddy.com dropping AR15.com. This this is the beginning, I think. It's it's a very unusual thing, but uh, one of the things I, I need you to make a comment down below: Are firearms illegal? Simple as that. Why are companies trying to get away from? firearm sales, firearm companies. Is there something evil about a handgun? Is there something evil about trying to protect yourself? Do they associate we legal firearm owners with all the criminals out there who are doing bad things? And like I said, and this goes to the red flag deal, is that I am a true believer that the liberal left, and I'm talking about the, the Democrats that are loving gun owners, because guys, guess what? You're in the same boat we are. But some of these individuals think that if you own a firearm, you are a potential criminal, and that's the way they look at it. So the only answer to this thing is to get firearms out of everyone's hands. So this is why everybody's up in arms about GoDaddy dropping AR15.com because it will not end there. Okay, so let's talk about this. Big tech censorship. I think we all can agree that services like Twitter, Google, Apple, GoDaddy, Facebook. I've dropped Facebook a long time ago. I'm still on there just because I want something to, I don't know, uh, save my pictures. And then when I get really pissed off at the world, I put shooting videos on there because I do have family members that I know that just riles them up. But today in Fox Business, Mr. Elon Musk, and I think we can all agree also that Elon Musk is a big guy in the community. He's uh, just now made the richest man in the world over Jeff Bezos, 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 whatever his name is, with Amazon. It's unbelievable what power these companies have, and if they don't like the message that you're selling, they can drop you like a rock. And I know a lot of people are going to go again. They're going to talk about this deal with it's a private company that can do what you want. You are absolutely correct. But when that private company has a monopoly on the market, then what do you do? All right, let's talk about this. Tesla CEO Elon Musk weighed in on Monday on Big Tech's recent move to censor President Trump in the response to the Capitol riot by pro-Trump supporters last week. And this is another thing that really pisses me off is that the 99% or 90% of the guys out there did the peaceful protest and they left. The rest of those guys attacked the Capitol and did what they had to do what they wanted to do. All right. A lot of people are going to be super unhappy with the West Coast high tech as the de facto arbiter of free speech. Free speech. That's getting ready to be a, a, an item of the past. So not only do they want to take your firearms from you through virtuous signaling, they're going to get rid of your ability to, I don't know, engage in free speech by limiting what you can and cannot say. There are certain things that even in YouTube that I'm like, wow, can I, am I even allowed to say steal the deal or steal the vote or whatever because that's what they're censoring. You can't say those words. We're going to take you down. Well, why is it? Is it an opposing view? Does that scare you? I think it does. And I think it scares the shit out of the left because they know the people who have an opposing view are the people with firearms. And which leads me to believe, and it gives strength to that fact, that these individuals want to take those away from you because they're scared of what you have to say and what your voice stands for. Musk replied to a tweet of a satirical article entitled, Evil Fascist Dictator Censored and Voted Out of Office. It's disgusting what these people, I mean, I have never, the people who write this stuff, they are the most evil individuals in the world. They have the most vile mouths. Musk previously railed against the big tech censorship in June after he called out Amazon for reportedly censoring and publication of a book about coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, if you are not in line with what's going on, it's okay to censor. And that's where it's okay. They've reached this point in life to where they think they have this true virtue that we must, we must contain the information that is distributed out there. 
that if it's not in alignment with what Fauci and, and whatever her name is says, then it can't be true. <laughs> Musk said at the time that it is time to break up Amazon. And I totally agree. It is absolutely time to break up Amazon. Now, I'm a capitalist, guys. I love free market. But when free market is designed to where one person has the ultimate strength over so many, you've got Jeff Bezos, you got that kid that owns Facebook, there's uh, the other jackass with Twitter. Then you have Google, who owns, well, face YouTube. So, guys, here it is. We're sitting here at a pivotal moment in our entire lives where our words, because we have an opposing view, is being censored. When these companies can go ahead and they say, you're not allowed to say certain things. I'm not creating a riot. I'm not yelling fire in a damn movie theater. All I'm doing is I am just trying to Disseminate the information, my opinion. And we're going to be talking about more opinions here because I'm going to tell you something. I got a full week of stuff, donors that are disconnecting from Republicans. You've got big major donor banks and everything else. And if these Republicans decided they did not agree or they were going to challenge, just challenge the Electoral College vote. Well, they pulled all of their donations. We're talking about protesters being terminated. Ugh. This is the whole thing. You read what they want you to read, and you watch what they want you to watch. What does that sound like to me? Communist China. Tell me I'm wrong. It's Coda Boy 32 If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform who fight for our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Guys, I get fired up because I'm very emotional about this stuff. On Monday... We're going to be leading a caravan. I'll give you the details. We're heading to Richmond. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.